Hi, I'm Dr. John McCann, and I'm an ophthalmic plastic surgeon. I went to medical school at the University of Iowa. Uh, while I was there, uh, I got the combined degree of MD or PhD, so I spent seven years at the University of Iowa getting that training done. After completing that, I did a one-year internship in Arizona and then did my residency training at the University of California, San Francisco. After completing training at the University of San Francisco, I came to Utah and did roughly a two-year fellowship in plastic surgery. After completing my uh, fellowship training, I took my first job as a professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. I stayed there for uh, nine years working as a, a teacher and uh, a scientist and uh, honing my uh, surgical skills. After uh, becoming a tenured professor at UCLA, I decided to graduate from college and move into private practice. So I was at a university from 1979 to 2005, so I can honestly say that college was the best 26 years of my life. One thing that sets my practice apart from other plastic surgeons in the area is the high degree of specialty within my practice. I only do surgery on the face, so I'm a specialist, not a generalist. In other words, I don't do tummy tucks, I don't do breast lifts, I only stick to doing surgery in the face. And I think by sticking only to surgery on the face, it allows me to do the various procedures I do on the face often enough to re a very high level of competence in doing those procedures. To this day, I'm still a teacher. Even though I'm not located at a university, I teach young doctors how to do the kind of surgery that I do. And um, this is a very rewarding thing. Over the years, I've trained now doctors from 20 different countries and had an impact on the training of about 30 or 40 different doctors. And it makes you feel good that you had some impact on their development as a surgeon as they went along. I also enjoy not just teaching young doctors, but I have been quite involved in teaching fully trained uh, doctors through continuing medical education. I travel around uh, the country and give talks on a frequent basis, and I also travel internationally frequently. Finally, I realize I can't practice medicine within a vacuum. For me to be successful at what I do, I need a really good team of people working around me. And that's a difficult thing to do. It takes a lot of work and, and effort to make sure that you hire the best possible people. And then once you get the right people in, it takes a lot of effort to train that team as to what you would like them to do. One of the things I think we do that's unique at our practice is that we spend uh, one to two hours a week meeting with each other talking uh, between myself and the staff about what we can do to do a better job of taking care of the patients within our practice. Nothing makes me happier than when I have one of my patients notice that we really have a well-oiled machine that helps take care of them. As much as I love my work, I love getting home to see my wife as well. We don't have any children, but we have a couple of very spoiled bulldogs. Uh, when we have time off, uh, we travel, uh, often travel to other countries and give meetings. And when we have time to take a real vacation where there's no work involved, we usually head to the wilderness to do uh, either whitewater rafting or fly fishing. As a plastic surgeon, I do a wide variety of different procedures. And people often ask me, what is my favorite procedure? And I have to say, I don't really have a favorite procedure. I don't think of it that way. Instead of having favorite procedures, I have favorite patients. And by a favorite patient, what I mean is I like a patient who comes to me who has a challenging problem that I know if I address it surgically that I can result in a big improvement. Sometimes it's a big improvement in their appearance. Sometimes it's a big improvement in their vision. The best cases are when it's a big improvement in both. So I think much more about my job being gratifying when I can really do something that results in a substantial impact in one's life.